underwater and you end up finding like a cave and it takes you into a tomb and then you've got a tomb section after going diving and you've accidentally found oh, that you, and you get a reward you, you, at the end. You're literally just tugging on my dick right now and talking about tombs. <laughs> like, that's literally what you're doing. You know what oh. I like. I'm like, you, you've got me skeptical. I'm like, I don't yeah. know about this underwater bit. And then you go, but a tomb. And I'm like, well, 100% for sure doing that. Yeah. Uh, tombs. Yeah. And you find all the secret shit. And it's like, it leads to a new section of gameplay by having that there. And it makes it feel way more systemic. And it also managed to, in the video, lead me onto a segue where I could shout out your channel. So that's You did. Thing. You did do that sneaky shout out. Yeah. Uh, and what was it about? Oh. Uh, the classic tombs that I'm rock hard exactly. on, so that's kind of my new thing is tombs. That's yeah, my thing, and I'm just so focused on. And it's and it's kind of why I loved Uncharted too, because I'm like, this is pretty much just that. Like, it's just mm. a game that is those things that I love about Assassin's Creed tombs and stuff like that. That's true. Just in a game, so I am obsessed with that type of mission. I'd fucking playing AC two again. I'm like, oh, the tombs are so good. Yeah, tombs only got better like there's that's one thing that two didn't have they i love that they brought in the tombs so amazing but they they only got better from two mm. revelations kind of mastered the tombs the tombs were beautiful in revelations like they were the, oh, the best they ones were great. i love that one where <laughs> under galata tower over, no the well i do love that one i love all of them but the one yeah. where you get all of the uh the all the pages like the memoir pages to get that special armor, and then you have to do the tomb underneath the Hagia Sophia, I think. And it's like this. Oh yeah, of course. Huge yeah, room, yeah, 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 and you yeah. have like the zip lines and the you like you're kind of jumping across these these wooden beams at the top of the room and everything. And it's just it's so awesome. They're so awesome. Like the scale of them is so cool. Like when you get to the top of the inside of like a a huge cathedral and you like look down, you can see this huge room. And it's like whoa, that's fucking oh, so cool. That is an awesome... That's actually... I, I, that's so underrated. It's just because, like, that was an optional one where you did Tombs in the main mm. story in Revelations. Yeah. So, I don't know. That was actually right up there, I must admit. I think my favorite was the Galata one where you're falling through and you catch it. I don't know. Yeah. Is that like, the one with the caves? Yeah. The one with the... Wait. Yeah, the one with the water in it. Is that one? No, that's not... That, that's the one, the one the out of the lighthouse. Oh, the big ravine, that, no, that's the ravine under Galata. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. That, that one. When Ezio, like, manages to grab hold of something, the camera turns around, you just see this huge ravine, and it's like, fuck, that's insane. And you have to climb across, like, this bridge that's, like, falling apart and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, fuck. Ah, I want them back. Yeah, that'd be great. Just make them like Uncharted. It'd be so good. It'd be so good. Uh, I'm just talking so much smack in the chat. I know, I've, I've been reading it. <laughs> I, I, I love how I said something in the chat to Jamie, and I I literally, you were mid-sentence, and I noticed the fact that you'd read it, and you'd kind of gone like, nah, and they kept going, <laughs> like you're trying not to laugh. Yeah, oh, that's great. <laughs> Everyone's talking about dicks and going in balls deep, and I'm just... Well, that is the channel, isn't it? That, that is kind of the chat. That is what this podcast is about. Also, I just want to add in, please, everybody, if you haven't already, like the stream, oh, just so we can yeah. get up the likes, because yeah, I haven't like said it once, we haven't said it once, and that's why we're on low likes at the moment. Mm, that's true. Let's get it up. We've set it now. I expect to get up to the high numbers. That's true. We better do that. I find it strange. Alex said um, he thought the tombs got worse, so like he liked them most in 2, then Brotherhood, then Revelations. Two had very average tombs. Mm, I mean, I like, I do love the two tombs. The two tombs. The they, look, they, tombs. they're great. They're great. I played them. I've just played them all recently. And I was thinking there's my least favorite tomb in there is the one in Venice, which is the Doge's Palace, the, the like cathedral next to it. Um, that you've got to like literally just do the four challenges and move mm. the, the central market to look like an assassin symbol. Yeah. That's that's the most boring one because it's yeah, just kind of elongated for no reason. Then there's just two you chase a guy mission and then there's a quick puzzle at the end. Those are fun because they're quick, but they're just kind of uh. The fun ones are like the Duomo in in Florence, like that's a great one. Mm. Um, I think the other one in the one in Foley, which is like the winery one, and then there's even a similar one in. Oh no, the one in Foley is like a big library. And, and castle interior yeah. and then it's like a winery in San Gimignano yeah and then there's another one like that in Venice it's the last one you do I love the last one I think that that's the cha- that's the chase and it's then you chase, do like and the then you water do the, yeah, the water time section where you go around the room and you have to line yeah, up the assassin symbol I like, I like that bit 
like that. See, the thing I liked about Brotherhood's way more and Revelations more is because it kind of mastered, like, you could just smash through it quick, but you in, but the setting was cool and you enjoyed the the action and fast-pacedness. Because I like it to be fast-paced in, in times. Like, they, they knew pace really well in Brotherhood and, and Revelations, whereas either you're in a fast-paced tomb in, in two or you're in a really slow one. Hmm. Like, it was one or the other. It was just, when they're slow, it's just, ugh. Whereas in 2, you've got these cool ones where you're, like, under the Roman Forum and really ancient old ones. I lo- My favorite one could be the Colosseum Tomb, where you do the chase under the Colosseum and everything, and then you end up at the in Juno's Temple, Ooh, where the game ends. And until cool. you've beaten the game, and you've even got the epic music echoes of Roman Ruins when you get yes. in and walk into the temple and i'm like that is one of my favorite free run moments of all time in all the games like holy fucking jesus that's awesome i think what they did well with brother from revelations is the tombs felt more like they weren't set missions like this isn't it wasn't like a, i mean it was like a tomb mission but each one was individual and it wasn't like a set one it wasn't like this is one of these kind of ones this is one of these kind of ones it was like each one was completely individual like it had a its own kind of story to it and thing that you had to do and they felt like, like in Revelations especially, they had these really cool set pieces where like you'd have like the one where you're chasing the boat down the river and they're shooting at you and you have to kind of avoid their gunshots. And then you fall down the waterfall and grab hold of that thing and you know you've got the bridge collapsing and you have to go across the zip lines and everything. And it feels so cinematic. That's a form of the it's, ox, yeah? It's awesome. Uh, fucking I have no idea. I think, I think that's... A, yeah, that's a... I love that one. That's a great one. Nice and cinematic and stuff, like you said. Mm. That's it. The fast pacedness, more of, and but you still enjoy where you are and everything. Mm. There's a theme to the tombs, and there's a pace to that theme. If that makes sense, yeah. I just, I just thought that never revelations. Now every single one of them were great. Brotherhood maybe had one average one. The Vatican chase, the last one in Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. Oh, far out. That's great. They were so good in Brotherhood. Where it's raining as well in Brotherhood. Yeah. And then you do the awesome. fight with the cardinal. Like you it's can a great... kill him in multiple ways. There's different cutscenes when you kill him. <laughs> throw him like, off the ledge. Throw him off or... the edge and like you hold hold onto like the key, and he's yes. like asking you to grab him back up, and then you just pull it, and he just falls down. Or you can just like kill him normally on That's the great. thing and everything. That's really cool. That's a great one. Yeah, and the uh, Colosseum and the Vatican one are my two favorites in Brotherhood for sure. And then I think Revelation kind of nails them all. There's there's the cool one in. Because the first one you do is nice under the Ro- in the Ro- Roman Forum and stuff. Mm-hmm. Then there's one where it's like this t- catacomb tomb where it's just bones, bone oh, temple, the like underground. One? Yeah, the maze. Go, one. Yeah, follow yeah. the lights and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Didn't didn't and figure it, that out till like the fifth time I did it that you had to follow the. Torches. Really, really. Um, but that no. was the first time. I think no. I do remember Harlan being there. and He goes, oh, I think you need to follow the torch. I'm like, oh, sweet, and then I kept doing it. Oh, uh, right, yeah. I didn't work that out until later on. Um. Jeez, oh, I just looked at the likes, man. They all went up after I said that. There we go. Um, and so there was that was that's four. So the Roman Forum, the Maze, Vatican, Colosseum. Then there's the Aqueduct one. I'm trying to. I remember you have to you have to get what did it, Oh, dude, you have to repair the Aqueduct. I couldn't. I couldn't. I can never wear that. I remember Ethan was trying to do it the other day on a stream. It wasn't the other day. It was like <laughs> three months ago on a stream, and I remember watching it. And I was like, um, you have to fill up the aqu- like you have to d- like link up all the aqueducts to be able to get that one, because it's like the water has to be like the water has to rise up before you can even reach it. I think there's a way you can reach it without doing it, but it's like really fiddly. And for sure, just it's repair glitchy, the aqueducts. But, yeah. For sure, then, every time everyone plays the game, they repair the entire city of Rome. Oh, obviously. I have to every time. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, oh, I'm just gonna play through the story, and then I no, like, re- renovating not. the whole of Rome, yeah. and I'm like, oh, that happened. I didn't realize I did it, but it, it yeah. happened. <laughs> unacceptable to do it without it even when i did the revelations walkthrough like i literally got to about sequence five stopped and didn't stop recording and just repaired the entire city trained all my assassins to full ranked did every side activity in the game and then started recording again with full upgraded everything i was only at sequence five and i'd done everything in the game when i finished two and i go to brotherhood you can do the same thing (laughs) <laughs> you know, like 100%. I can't do it without it. I've got to do all the Christina missions. I've got to do all the courtesan, thief missions, assassination contracts, repair the entire city, get all my assassins fully ranked, uh, do all of the viewpoints, obviously, in Borgia Dow. That goes without saying. Hmm. And obviously, I need to do, even though I hate the Romulus armor, I've still got to do all the Romulus slayers because they're awesome missions. Yeah, that's true. I do hate I've, the Romulus armor. 
I hate it's, it. Oh, it's terrible. It's it's fucking awful. So upsetting. Uh, the, the, I'm like, at least the dagger's cool. I'm like, at least there's something, I yeah. guess. I, I, guess, I, I do guess. use that dagger. Yeah, I do too. Question. What? I forget the... Because I know... I know you have to fill the aqueduct to get the tomb again. I think Harlan worked. That. I remember playing because it's one of those things that from the first time I played it, I knew I had to do that. Mm-hmm. But Harlan's always been the smart one that kind of figures that shit out, and he just tells me, or, or like he'll watch me and be like, "Oh, I'm pretty sure you need, must need to fill the aqueducts." I'm like, "Yep, that makes sense," and mm-hmm. I just kind of know shit. What was that tomb? I forget like what's in it. Oh, um, yeah, you know, so I don't remember either. Is that the one with the bones? No, it's not. The one with the bones is the f- second one after you do the main story one. Okay, so there's the one in the back. The and first, the and then the one. third, the, the third, one... the third one's the Colosseum. Okay. The first one's under the forum. Yeah, the second, second one's Colosseum. One, and, so, and the maze is they're, they're both unlocked at the same time. The Colosseum and maze. Okay, the maze is the one. Is the maze the one right near the city wall? Yes, it is. Okay, and it's next is to it like the a. One... Is the one under the aqueduct the one where you chase the dude in the mask on the horse? No, that's the Colosseum. Oh, fuck. Okay, is it the one where... Um, oh, no, I think that's the same one as the Colosseum one. The one... Oh, is it the one called... Is it, like, the sixth day or something? Where it's, the like, what? this destroyed, like... It's, like, this destroyed house? Or is that a different one as well? What? Destroyed, destroyed, destroyed what are you house? Mean? It's got like the chandeliers and you run across the chandeliers and then you go like, it's all kind of just destroyed and then you end up in this huge room with a massive grate, like a gate thing, like a <gasps> golden gate. No, you that's the, the second, that's the second last one and that's in the like the French oh, so district. The, so the only one we can't remember is like this. Yeah, no, that, because it's, it's the Pope's Aqueduct old one. house, it's the Pope's okay. old destroyed house that he lived in before the Vatican was built. You can. Re- I think I just read that from. I remember that from the because da- I used to read all the database entries of the mm-hmm. layers. Because I used to try to be like, well, what is this place? What is this based off this tomb? Ba- oh, that's why I love the tombs because they're cool historical shit. Yeah. Yeah, that okay, was so... the old house because that's where the shrunken head was. The because there's only mm-hmm. two shrunken yeah, yeah, heads yeah. in the shop first. One of them if was. You sell one if you accidentally sell it. Oh, you head. you can't you can't get it back. That's it. So you're fucked. So you just can't complete the shop quest. There's only two. In, you, well, you have to hopefully. So I've never once. I've played Brotherhood 14 oh, times. I've as well. And I've never once gotten it from like a thief or nah, me neither. a guy you tackle. So it's just in, that one in the tomb, and there's one on a cliff edge. Oh, um, well, yeah, one of the cliffs. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It, it took me a long time to work it out, but I remembered them. So the oh, second, yeah, by the same. time I played, did my second playthrough, I know where both strong and heads it's are. It's brilliant. It's brilliant the yeah. way, <laughs> whenever I play the Ezio trilogy, I've got like all the locations of things I need memorized. So I just like instinctively go and get the shrunken heads, and like I'll remember the stuff I need, and I'll just have everything, and it's just amazing. Yeah, definitely. It's, so what's it's... what's the tomb that we can't we can't think of? <sighs> I'm trying to think. So. Yeah, we've literally got um, all, of... all the ones except for the one that we the can't aqueduct. remember. I'm I'm literally Ooh. googling them. Should we try to work it out ourselves, or I kind of want to work it out, but at the same time, I really want to know. I really, I really, I, I wish that I knew it because I should know it. Why don't I know it? It's called Baths of D Diocletian. I don't know. After Etios, you did blah blah blah. Aqueduct repaired. Upon entering Rome's sewage system, Ezio soon discovered three portraits. I know exactly what it is, too! Yeah. It's the one where you spiral up, there's the big spiral up, and you have to fight all the Romulus guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and And it's like you go through through a sewer, and you kind of have to have this thing where you chase the guy, and every so often you get guys that come and attack, and they're constantly throwing throwing knives at you. It's that one. Yes, yes, it is that one. Got it, and you have like the boss battle at the end with all of the guys, and like the main guy that you're trying to kill. And you can just literally run, and if you actually leave and you don't kill them all, and you because the only way to get up to the final place to collect the key, uh, there's a a crane. So if you go up and activate the crane and you haven't killed them all, there'll be a dialogue behind it. They'll be like, "Where is he? He's he's escaped. We need to find another way up." And then they run off. That's great. So I, I never kill I them all that. when yeah, I yeah. play that because I like hearing that dialogue bit. That's Man, great. they nailed the little things, didn't they? And brother, they Jesus did. Christ. They did a good job. And that game was made in a couple of yeah, months but... after two. Yeah, that's fucked. That's some bullshit. That game is amazing. That's uh, like in terms of gameplay and things like that. Like I still always say, two is my favorite, but it still has been, more has content, to... more content than two and Revelations in terms of game. Yes. The, best, the best one for gameplay, 
for me, best side two, missions. two is the best for story. 